Hey, tubers! So, as you can see, I am clearly incapacitated at the moment. That would refer back to the events of last night, which I will now take you through. So, I come back to my dorm and suddenly get a sharp shooting pain in my side. And my first reaction is, oh lord, I'm having a heart attack. But then that's your left arm, and it was on my right side, and it was on my hip. And so then I decided I'd try to, you know, be cool with it for a while until one in the morning. Then I was like, nope. I called my friend, and this is what the conversation consists of, and I quote, Me. Hey, can you drive me to the hospital? Her. Yeah, let me put a bra on. So she took me to the hospital. Such a nice friend. But on the way, of course, we got pulled over by the popo. Every time. I don't, I don't know what it is with, with me and Popo, but every time. And the only thing he wanted to tell us was that she had a burnt out taillight. Meanwhile, I'm dying in the front seat. And he's just like, oh, well, well you know, we'll go to the hospital. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Anywho. So, we get to the hospital. And there's a check-in guy. And, the first, and he says, can I help you? And I go... I am in excruciating pain. I am dying. Yeah. So he sends me to another guy who sends me to another guy who sends me to another guy who wants to take all my information. Meanwhile, I'm like collapsing on the floor as I'm trying to remember my social security number. I mean, whatever. And so finally, I get taken back there and they want me to give them a urine sample. And at the time, I really couldn't pee. Just couldn't do it. And I really couldn't. And it wasn't until the weird nursey lady threatened me with a catheter that I actually could pee. And as soon as she said the word catheter, I didn't just pee a little. I peed, like, the whole freaking bottle. Yeah. And so then, she said, All right, I'll be back in a minute. I ended up sitting there for two hours. When she finally came back and got the pee, I waited there for another two hours. Then, at about six in the morning, she comes back and says, Oh, um, we lost your pee. Really, batch? Really? I don't know what these hospital ladies do, because I listen to their conversations the whole time, and... All they were talking about was who has a nicer motorbike and what tampons are the most comfortable. And these are like 30, 40 year old women. I don't know. I don't judge. I don't judge. But anyway, so then oh, I struggled to pay some more. Meanwhile, my friend over there is passed out on the couch because she got tired of reading her Amish magazines. Um... And, yeah, then we had to force me to drink a ton of water just so I could pee again. And then finally, at like 7, I got to go back to school. Aren't you proud? Got to go back to school, got to go back to class. I got no sleep. Now I can't move. And I'm stuck in my bed. It's not very fun. But that's how my night went. I hope yours was better. So if you think you had a bad night, just ask yourself, were you in excruciating pain? Did some cheesy nursery ladies lose your pee? And did you have get no sleep? And did you have to sit in the hospital bed for six and a half hours with nothing but a moist towelette over your face? That's another thing. I started puking. I didn't get to eat a thing either. Alright, well. I guess. Whatever. And it turns out. What, what it actually was. Was a kidney stone. Thirty-year-old men are supposed to get kidney stones. I am nineteen. I don't know what's up with that. 
But yeah, and I'm on this medication and all this other junk, and we'll see how that goes. I guess that's who loses pee. What are they gonna sell it on the black market? I mean, I just don't get it. And I look like a bloated chipmunk right now. You wanna know why? Cause they injected a bunch of water into me. So I know I 150 pounds. So proud. Oh, some people's children, some people's children. No, no. Well, that's all I really have to say about that. That dang lady got me all. They at first thought it was appendicitis, and I'm like, they're, they're freaking out at first. And then the lady's like, oh, no, well, you know, sometimes we joke about that. Damn, lady, joking about that. I don't know who she thinks.